if you have paid tax liens and you've paid them, they're still in your credit report, keeping you from being able to move forward with your credit and do business. You're going to want to watch this video. <laughs> To remove paid tax liens off your credit report. Here are five simple steps that's going to get it done for you in 90 days or less. Okay, so here we are. First thing that you need to do is you need to fill out IRS form 12277. Um, if you do not have the form, you can go to my website. The link is in the description and it'll take you directly to everything that I'm talking about here, including links to download the forms and everything that you'll need to get this done. So you're going to fill out this form. It looks like this. Um, it's really simple. It's really only one page long um, that you need to fill out. So you're going to fill that form out. Okay, and step number two is that you're going to need to download IRS Publication 4235, which is simply a directory of collection advisory office um, for the IRS. They handle tax liens and collecting the money for it. So they're, they are the ones who um, you're going to actually send form 122772. Um, so you're gonna download that publication. Like I said, all of that stuff is on my, the links are on my website for you to um, download these things. And it just kind of looks like this. It's real um, simple. It's and all it is is basically addresses and fax numbers for the specific offices in your state. So you're gonna want to do that. That's step number two. Make sure that you that you mail in form one two two seven seven in via certified mail. That is very important because you're gonna want to know when they receive it. You're gonna want to track it. Um, and step number three is, here's a kicker, you're going to have to wait. You're going to have to wait 30 to 45 days with COVID going on. You may have to wait 60. Just depends. Um, I've seen it go faster, but I've also seen it kind of go up to 60 days before you get a response from IRS collections. Um, but what happens is... Um, the IRS will contact the courthouse where the lien was filed to notify them to withdraw it. It has to be paid in order for the IRS to honor and approve your request for withdrawal. That's very important. I don't want you to think that you can get um, you can go through this process to get a tax lien removed if you have not paid it. It has to be paid. Um, you will also be sent a copy of said notification. Okay, and step number four is once you have received your copy of the notification that the tax lien has been withdrawn, then you're going to want to use that document, keep the document, but make copies of it, and you're going to want to start disputing with all three credit bureaus. Um, if this is business credit that we're talking about, you're going to want to dispute with Pacer and a few other places, Dun & Bradstreet. You're going to want to let them know, hey, the government has withdrawn this, take this off. If you haven't already taken this off, take it off. And they will do it. They will honor your letter from the IRS to remove that from your credit report. And step for number five is the final confirmation um, from the credit bureaus and all the other agencies that you may need to send your confirmation letter to. Um, so you, you're gonna see, receive something back from them. Um, a lot of times you will see it update on your credit um, report via your credit monitoring website because that's faster. But you also want to make sure that you get that letter in the mail, put it in your documents, tuck it away just in case anything like that ever comes back up about that specific tax lien. You will have documentations that you deleted it, they told you to delete it, and it should be done. Okay, so if this video helped you, that's awesome. Um, give me like a like or a thumbs up or whatever. Share it with someone who, who may this may be able to help. And until the next video. If this content was helpful to you, please like, subscribe, and comment. It helps get the word out.